tene te mihi ki a koto kato, na mai, haere mai, whakatau mai. Welcome to the Natural Ozone YouTube channel. My name is Kim Saxton, Director of Natural Ozone, a Kiwi company dedicated to helping you harness the many benefits of ozone. Please note, this video is not intended as personal medical advice. For all medical issues, please consult your health professional. Ozone therapy does have a firm scientific basis. In fact, there are over 11,000 scientific articles published on the PubMed database. In this video, I will show you how to set up a natural ozone Oxy96 oxygen concentrator for use as oxygen input for ozone therapy. To conduct safe and effective home ozone therapy, we need an input of pure oxygen. There are three different ways you can achieve that. For more information, check out our video the air that we normally breathe is comprised of a mixture of gases, including around 21% oxygen. An oxygen concentrator is a device which uses a molecular sieve to separate out the oxygen and deliver it at a particular purity, depending on the setting you choose. Please note that most oxygen concentrators on the market only produce an output of maximum 90%, which is not recommended for home ozone therapy. That's why we highly recommend the Oxy96, which has a high purity output of over 90%. Because ozone therapy requires very low flow oxygen input, we need to use a low flow meter in addition to the oxygen concentrator. The Oxy96 comes with all the accessories you need to do oxygen therapy, which is a great backup in case you should need it sometime. For example, if someone in the family is suffering from COVID and you can't get to a hospital, always consult with your GP on how much to breathe and how often. However, these accessories are not needed when conducting ozone therapy, so put them away in a safe place. You do need the power cord, which plugs in the back like this. One important thing to note, some people use their oxygen concentrator purely for breathing oxygen. In this case, fill the humidifier with water. However, for ozone therapy, we do not want water entering the ozone generator. So do not fill the reservoir with water when using the Oxy96 for this purpose. The low flow meter comes with two tubes. Each has a male lure lock connector on one end. Take the first tube and screw it firmly into the nozzle marked O2 in. Take the other end of the same tube and connect it to the nozzle marked oxygen on the Oxy96. Now take the second tube and connect it to the nozzle marked O2 on the low flow meter. This will be your input tube for the medical ozone generator. This connects into the fitting on the back of the medical ozone generator marked O2 in. Now we can switch on the oxygen concentrator by pressing on the on switch like so. You should hear a beep, then the machine will make a purring sound. Next, turn the white knob on the oxygen concentrator anti-clockwise until it is hovering around the two liters per minute mark. You may notice that the ball bounces around a bit. That is perfectly normal due to the puffing of the compressor in the oxygen concentrator. Now go to the low flow meter and look at the glass tube indicator. You will see that, like the one on the oxygen concentrator, there is a silver ball. This indicates the flow rate. Again, turn this knob anti-clockwise and the ball should rise up in the tube. Sometimes the first time you turn it on, the knob needs a little extra pressure to get it to turn. Always turn anti-clockwise the first time you use it, as it is shut off tight for transporting. Now, as you turn the dial clockwise and anti-clockwise, you can see that the ball is rising and falling in the tube. Use the numbers on the glass tube to set the flow rate. You should allow the oxygen concentrator to run for a few minutes before commencing ozone therapy to ensure that it has reached a good level of oxygen purity. Which flow rate you require will depend on which protocol you are performing. The natural ozone home ozone therapy bundles come complete with this easy to follow protocol handbook, which gives a huge amount of information we've compiled from the latest research. 
This is for general information only and not intended as personal medical advice. Please consult your chosen health practitioner for further instruction. You are now ready to start your first home ozone therapy protocol. We have created a library of home ozone therapy videos to assist your journey to better wellness. Please note that when we refer to the flow rate in further instructions, that we will be talking about the indicator on the low flow meter only. If you have any questions or just like more information, please visit our website, naturalozone.co.nz. Send us a message or just give us a call. Remember, we are a service-oriented family business and are always happy to give advice and support. See you in the next video. Thank <music> you.